Hello everybody and welcome back. It's Danny and Eli here with River City Cards and more and we're here to do a new release opening for you here. Give a little review on a new the new Panini Prism boxes. We just got these in um, today so we figure we're going to check them out and see what we can do with the Panini Prism box here. So Thanks everybody for joining us. I appreciate all the likes and subscribes and comments we've been getting. So uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And we really appreciate you for, for joining us here to check out Panini Prism. So this box here is going to have 12 cards a pack, 12 packs per box. It has got three autographs in the box. So that is pretty nice to me. Uh, kind of like prism last year's prism was pretty decent so but just like everything with panini you worry about that uh it's all prospects and uh hall of famers well not even just well, hall of famers right it's, yeah, i mean it's got retired guys yeah retired older players and stuff so that could be really good or it could be pretty rough so we had really good luck out of our donors box uh we're going to try out some panini prisms. So what do you think, Eva? Are you ready to rip in? Yeah. I will say one thing, though. What's that? I do worry about the price point of these boxes. What were these? Yeah, 160? No, it wasn't that much. 140? Something. In yeah, there's, right? there's somewhere in the 140 range, I believe, now is where I was checking them out. Yeah, that's just a little bit worrisome for a panini product. Because that's a little bit... It's a little expensive. So... Yeah, it seems like... You know, they haven't changed their prices. It doesn't seem like they've... Yeah, they have no intent of doing that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't... They're not worried about what, um... You know, what their prices are, it seems like, so... Let's see, yeah, about 150 149 I'm looking at some of these guys here, Steel City. Um, stuff like that looks like they got them for 149 95 So, $150 for the box... And maybe it's worth it. I don't. If I don't know. A bunch of Hall of Fame autographs in these, and it probably would be worth it. Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I will say the Donruss boxes that we have opened, every one of them. We now, granted, I don't know that we got any that were like thousand dollar, you know, Bowman first Chrome. But we never stuff got like skunked. That. But we never got skunked. That's exactly right. Every box we opened, we got our money's worth out of the box. Was it? It was at um, least good. At least very close. So. I, I have to give them, I have to give them that anyways. So we'll see if we can continue that streak here with a with a panini prism. Okay. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and open this up and see where we're see where we're at. All right. You ought to brought some of those vintage cards over here and I'll show everybody some of my vintage stuff I got in the mail the other day. I've been. I like I like collecting vintage uh, cards. So uh, you more. do have you do have them down here, don't you? Yep. All right. Well, uh, real quick, if anybody's interested, I'll show you what we. I got. I picked up a few of these. That's a Cedar Rapid Colonels 2010 Mike Trout. Not like some great valuable card, but I thought it was really cool. Really cool card. Uh, got me a Drysdale and, and Sandy Koufax. Uh, got a Gil Hodges. What's this one? A 1955? Five. Is that what it was? I think. Can't remember. 55 Gil Hodges. Uh, I know that's designs. That's a 68. Carl Yoskrimski, Frank Robinson, Al Kaline. That's pretty good 67 batting leaders. And I am a Cardinals fan, so there's a Tim McCarver. Uh, we got a McCarver autograph out of one of our Donruss boxes, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. What about that? That was really cool. Uh, and then... That's my favorite one for sure. Yeah, Fergie Jenkins. And it's a really good shape, too, for a 67 card. I'm curious what we'll get out of it. Because I do generally send these off to get graded. Um, and just to... It kind of preserves them. Uh, not sure I'm going to get that Mike Trout graded or nothing. But um, the vintage the old cards, uh, I like to get them encased and see if we can get pretty good, pretty good grades out of them, and they'll stay that way for a while. You know, yeah. you don't get them in a in a one or 
not really a one touch but a top loader or something that gets them tore up or whatever mm. so pretty cool stuff how uh all right let's get into some prism here how do you uh just you just don't grab six, grab six. six. Yeah. okay you're see. taking the front six and two, six i got, six I got the, the back six then and there we well, go so you're gonna go one at a time since there ain't that many fairly gonna, that's fine go ahead and try one at a time Eli. let's all right let's just see what you let's see what we can get out of here Right. Okay, get us there. Got Joey Weimer. A lot of uh, lesser known prospects, I would say, so yeah. far. Carson Williams. No more Garcia Parra. Omar Vizquel. Jim Tomey. Hayden Graham. Hmm. I do not know these. Him. Novi Marte. Got our first autograph oh, right at the yeah. gate. And are these like some of the new draft picks, maybe? That says a 2020 draft right there. Really? Hmm. Yeah, the, the design's kind of just the same old prism yeah, design. It's always it? pretty so. similar. All right, so let's see what we can get for our first autograph. That looks like a picture. That's, I don't know. Uh, Curtis, Curtis Mead. It, that's a decent name. I was about to say, I've actually heard that name before uh, is that just yes yeah, yeah just... it's dust okay okay no i think it's not really a that big a deal that's a is it numbered or anything one. i don't believe so unnumbered autograph so, curtis mead that's not net particularly great but it's not too bad yeah i'm just at first glance i'm a little i'm a little disappointed that it's just the same the same old well, yeah, they're prism design, you know. Prism uh, always looks similar. Mason and Goose Gossage. Some really um, old guys in there. Yeah, Luis Aparicio, Elijah Green, Owen Murphy, Drew Gilbert. That a King King Jr. Griffey. Fireworks. Yeah, couldn't that have been an autographed King Griffey Jr.? That'd have been cool. Nolan Ryan. Right. Yeah, that makes two of us. That's that's an autograph of a player I really, really want. And it has eluded us so far, hasn't it? Yeah. But we're starting to get some that we've been tr trying to get, like this like, like Mike Trout back there. Yeah, that Mike Trout really that's made me happy. Mm-hmm. Right. But Mike got a numbered card. Orlando Cepeda, Joe Mazeroski, Michael Bush, Sam Crawford. They seem to be a little bit thicker. A bit thicker, yeah, because I always think that they're sticking together. Yeah. Babe Herman, <clears throat> Maglio Ordonez, Gavin Cross. Got a Teen Cancer Fractor. A Teen Cancer. Omar Vizquel. Red Omar Vizquel. Out of the number, yep, to 199. Okay. Oh, Omar. A Cam Collier X Fractor. Pretty nice. And a Pete Armstrong. Yeah. Okay. Omar Vizquel is in the top fielding shortstops of all time probably he, he's always very well known for defense not exactly the greatest bat in the game but uh, i tell you too that tink kent he was in the futures game oh yeah the refractor and, yeah the refractor you got there and tink kent's another cardinal pitching prospect if they just had had some major league pitching it'd <laughs> be great you know but who am i all right, Andy Pajas, Jotinka, Tamar Johnson, Grow, Fredland, Eric Chavez. He he was good when Oakland back in the day. Willie McCovey, Luke Go, Omar Vizquel. Is that be a green? That's just a green of Nomar. Hey, Nomar was about as good as it gets when he was at his prime. Number to sixty-two out of seventy-five. I like, I mean, that's a that's a pretty card. Look at the baseball hologram through that. Those are all baseballs. Dude, that's a pretty card. It really is, you see That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, I, that's a pretty card. Bobby Miller and that, so. Yeah, Nomar was one of my uh, favorite guys there in, in, his, in his day. He was tough. 
Next, I want to open the way that I like them to. <laughs> like I might have another uh, autograph. Looks like it's going to be another you unnumbered done, one. So You done got the two two of the three autographs yourself. Huh? Yeah, I guess so. Bill Terry, Morales Martinez, Jackson Merrill. There's another one, Cardinal Pitcher, that they're high on right now. Oh, really? Cooper Yerp, I, I think. I have heard before. Yeah, he was drafted last year, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty high on him, though. Hmm. Early Wynn, Whitey Ford, Al Kaline, Ichiro, Robin Yount. Right. Now, really start to Let's see if we can get a nice Hall of Fame autograph here. Oh, Baltimore. Okay. That, that, that has potential. That, that potential? Oh, uh, man. It's Grayson Rodriguez. Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, yeah I could see that face. I reckon yeah, Grayson Rodriguez. Okay. Unnumbered, but... He's definitely a good name. I think he's going to be in 2022 update, I think. Is that right? Okay. I think so. All right, so two unnumbered prospect autographs so far. Pitchers. So, Both. No, Curtis Mead's not a pitcher, right? I don't we think just no, thought he not. was, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought he was, but I don't believe he is. I yeah. think he's a, a fielder. I think, I think you're right. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope the last one Looks like you got it. wins it. I Did it? I think it's another unnumbered one. I tell you what. You gonna that pack for last? I'm just saving okay. that one for last. I'll go ahead and open and show one here so we stay on. A warming Burnable. There are some names that are just difficult to see. Tom Seaver, Harold Baines. You picked up an autograph of Harold Baines, didn't you? Oh, Pretty yeah. good. What what was yeah, like is it top 20? tier top tier tier one? Yeah. It was a like tier one autograph. On eBay, so yeah, I thought that pretty cool. Well, Hall of Famer. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and and Jim Rice, too. you picked one of them up to a... For about the same price. Yeah. Jackson Jones. That one from Five Star, I believe. There's another. This looks like a numbered card here, doesn't it? Buck Leonard. Buck Leonard. An old guy. That's an oldie. And it is numbered to 99. 99. Breaking into the Negro Leagues in 1935, Leonard was an intermediate sensation, batting a league best 389 with 18 doubles. A star throughout his tenure with the club, the first baseman helped his team capture nine consecutive titles between 37 and 45, and the league uh, led the league in home runs three times during that stretch. So he was huh. definitely, he was definitely a good one. At. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Buck Leonard, there you yeah. go, kiddo. Diego Cartayo is good. I haven't and gotten any prospect cards yet. No. Oh, I'm stupid. I just put it right on top of the autograph pack. Okay, go. Okay. These packs like fall apart. <laughs> yeah. Right. King Griffey Jr., Sal Freilich, um... Paul Canerco, Ortiz, Ray Johnson, Catfish Hunter, Walter uh -huh. Ford, another Robin, Robin Yeo, Yeo, number 99. Okay. Another veteran numbered card, Jake Madden and Jim Tomey. Okay, not too bad. All right. I'm getting a few, starting to get a few numbered cards here. Yeah, uh, just numbered cards. I really haven't seen... Like you said, there had not been a whole lot of these, like, top prospects, though, that I was expecting to see. Um, yeah, a lot of prospects I'm not too familiar with. What? I gotta see who that guy is. <laughs> General manager in Toronto's second season of Big League Ball Club. Oh, they're putting manager cards in here. Wow. Are they getting desperate or what? Cecil Fielder, Robert Hassel, Juan Gone. Hey, okay. I like that. Mason Wynn. It's red, too, so mm -hmm. nice team color match red. Team color match. Not and, numbered, though. Oh, so. did not expect that to be. In, but still, Mason Wynn is one I believe you're going to hear about in St. Louis here next year, probably. I don't know that they'll get him into the majors this year, but I think next year he's he homered. Today, too, I think it was today yeah. or last night, something like that. Got four homers on the season as a triple A. All right, okay. I don't know those reds. Oh, uh, Tim Salmon, Steve Carlton, Willie, Willie. Calm. 
<laughs> now I gotta look at this one. I don't know. I, I don't yeah. know him. Um. In the graveyard. Hmm. All right. I don't know him. Really. Yeah. No. Me neither. Tyler Jim Tomey and a Hayden Palante. Another unnumbered red. And then a Brooks Lee. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So, I'll say, I, I'm, at first glance here, I'm liking the Donruss boxes better. Yeah, I don't, I'm not so certain about these, really. Jason Dominguez. It's just my opinion. Yeah, just that last autograph, another prospect unnumbered, I'm definitely going to be a little annoyed. Taj... Dodge Bradley, blue is that correct? Ice, my number one forty three or something like that. Numbered Taj Bradley, and Juan Marichal, cracked ice, and Indy Rodriguez. So that's pretty cool looking card too. Okay, you got your pack and and then you got the autograph. And then the autograph pack. Yep. So we get a bonus auto. Mm, don't think we did. <laughs> No. Okay. Right, Miller, Marcelo, Meyer, Addison, Barger, Judd, Fabian. <laughs> A lot of prospects I'm not very familiar with again. And Hal Newhauser. That's an old guy there. Number 149. And then a Marcelo Meyer. Correct ice. ice. That's then a nice. Tomoyuki's Sugano. That's the guy that we got the RGF of, isn't it? I think so. Out of so. the Donner's box. Out of the Donner's box. Have they there. never played in the major leagues before? No. I don't... No, they tried to sign him and couldn't couldn't agree on a contract, and he's never even played in the, in the majors. Why is he in... Maybe they really think that, that he's, he's going to make to. it. I don't know. That's Yeah, we got his autograph out of one of our Donner's boxes, and not didn't really know too much about him. Mm, yeah, I didn't know what to do with leagues. that. Yeah, because he'd never even been in the majors. So let's see. Frank Thomas, that guy, Warren Spawn. Carlos. Pedro was another tough one, boy. Cam Collier is a nice, pretty nice Our prospect. So Christian Vaquero. In the back is Pudge Rodriguez. Pretty cool looking card, actually. Uh, so I'm going to go to my... Handy dandy spacers See, here. We can walk it off with a nice Hall of Fame autograph. Yeah. That's looks unnumbered though, so it's a little worrisome. Okay, let's get it up here. Oh, it's okay. in Minnesota. Minnesota's kinda scary. Um mm. you know that guy? I do not. I do not either, so oof. 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 Jose Salas. Uh, Man. That you, was you picked tough. the wrong box to open, didn't you? I mean, Grayson, these are Grayson Rodriguez, good names. Curtis Mead, three unnumbered prospect autographs. Yeah, that's, that's kind of that's not very good. I don't know about this one. I like the Donruss, and I was defending them in the past, but this one might not go so well. No, I'm gonna say I'm not too impressed with um with it so far. Maybe we uh, just got, like, the worst box ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, looks like there's already some Curtis Meads on there from prison. He must have signed a lot, didn't he? Yeah, no doubt. Um, I don't know that any sold yet. But it appears there's uh, some sold out of 23 diners for 13 and 15. Yeah, I know 12. he's a decent name, but not, like, yeah. lighting the world on fire. <laughs> Hadn't done much there, so... That's what I'm curious about Grayson Rodriguez. I think I heard he was actually struggling right now. Really? I think I heard that. I haven't looked up to see where he's been at, but well, some people have gotten on that. They got a Prism Auto there that got a hundred on it. Um, let's see if any has sold though. Yeah, be awfully soon to find one actually sold. Yeah, so some regular, yeah, so regular Donruss 
cards they've got out and sold out there for there's one sold for 50 but it was a out of eight mm. so yeah i can't say there's much mm -hmm. going on there i just came with they were all unnumbered and, and the ones that are like out of the donors were like all everything low numbered, was numbered yeah for the most part H jose salas i don't i doubt you're gonna find that one for too much yeah there's one best offer or sold or best offer for 15 bucks. Yeah. So we had to say it, didn't we? That we did good on the other, but I'm going to say we didn't get much value back out of this box. Because even the numbered cards aren't really good. I mean, they're. I mean, the one uh, prospect, I think you're the prospect, right? I, I, I would say so. Yeah, 2022. Yeah. But not a huge a pitching one. Pitching prospect, and so I don't, I don't see much going on there. So we may have to, we may have to try another box of them one day here soon or something. We've got a few still left, but that one was a little underwhelming, guys. So, um, any great thoughts, Eli, on it? Just... Yeah, I, I don't know about this one again yeah i don't know yeah i i agree the uh donors boxes that we have opened have been very good um uh, that's probably why the prices of the boxes keep going up too yeah those boxes are like 160 more now aren't they yeah yeah they 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 went up and they've been very good uh, this prism box here is quite underwhelming so well, there you have it, guys. I hope you have better luck with the prisms than us. Uh, let us know what you think of them. I forgot about him. He was uh, number two. Oh, the Hal <laughs> Newhauser. Yeah, he was number two. So still, we got we got a few numbered, a few numbered cards, and three uh, three prospect autos that really aren't worth much. So there you have it. I don't think we got anywhere <laughs> remotely close to our money back on that box so all right well i hope everybody has a good evening and like i said i hope you have better luck with your prisms than we did and yeah, so far we that and the what was the other one we had a terrible time the top oh, the uh, finest finest top <laughs> finest is an absolute poop show it's just absolute horrible uh, and this kind of fit in the same category for me so all Maybe right this one wasn't as much and we probably got more of this than we did the five spots. that well you're probably right we didn't that finest box was quite a bit more expensive than this box but either way <coughs> we uh appreciate you watching it or watching it and checking us out and hope everybody has a good evening we'll see you next time